Hello everybody, uh, this is the Bristol Public Library reading time, and today I'm going to be reading Dino Snores. Dino Snores. On a supercontinent many million years ago, dinosaurs prepared for sleep on a cozy lava flow. In the comments, name each dinosaur. I bet you can't. You owe me a nickel if you can. T. Can't. They bathed and brushed and fluffed their ferns around the dino site, then laid their horns and spikes to rest and kissed their eggs goodnight. Reptilian birds and dragonflies drifted through the skies while prehistoric crickets sang Jurassic lullabies. Stegosaurus, Triceratops, Diplodocus, and I think that is Archaeopteryx. I want to say that's Archaeopteryx. I'm not. I'm not sure. Soon the peaceful world was rocked, shaken to its shores. From snouts of sleeping dinosaurs boomed mammoth dino snores. That must be very powerful for every dinosaur to snore and there were Baranto booms and tri tricera cries raptor rumbles stego sighs proto grunts and diplo hoots allo snorts and tyranno toots even though that's not a raptor that is a carnotaurus which means meeting bull. While dinos slept, winged lizards leapt, and mammals ran to hide. Palm trees quivered, hot springs shivered, bugs went petrified, were petrified. It's an allosaurus right there. Still, sleepy rumbling kept on coming from the dino core, from the dino, dino, hmm. still sleepy rumbling, still, sleepy rumbling kept on coming from the dino chorus, whistles, grunts, and snorts galore sprang from every saurus. Their nasal breeze stirred up the seas and windstorms full of sand. Swamps and rivers sloshed about, tossed creatures onto land. That is an ichthyosaur. That's a, it's a brachiosaurus though. Um, but this is an ichthyosaur. It's n not a fish. It is actually a type of reptile. The more you know. Boom, cry, rumble, sigh. Grunt, hoot, snort, toot. So I'm getting hair on my nose. It's really uncomfortable. That rompous trigger tremors in a powerful earthquake. The shaking scared amphibians and drove them from the lake. That's scary. Dino drool made swimming pools and gooey, slick mudslides. Sharks and ancient giant squids surfed slip, slimy spits, ripped tides. That's a mouthful. That shark looks really happy to be in a thing of spit. My mom wouldn't. My mom does not like spit. Neither does my brother, but I digress. Deep grumbles made rocks tumble and loud cretaceous booms. Chains of sleeping mountain tops awoke. In fiery plumes. Or fiery, my bad. Fiery plumes. Carnotaurus right there, just sleeping away as there's a cataclysmic event happening right there. Several million nights like this of snoring from the pit, the shaken supercontinent began to crack and split. That's ironic. There's a T Rex, my favorite dinosaur of all, and then Triceratops. Waving goodbye. They both lived in the same time. That's that's the ironic part. The dinos waved goodbye to friends and drifted off to sea. As for the rest, you may guess, 
As for the rest, you may have guessed. This isn't my first rodeo, I promise. See, the irony is that Stegosaurus is with T-Rex. They didn't live at the same time. It's ancient history. That's cute.